channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing my first order from Vestier Collective. I've always searched for, through their page and seen a lot of cool things with like a decent price but I've never ordered anything until now. So I ordered the Gucci Princeton loafers with in the in the black colorway with the fur. I initially well I was debating for a long time if I should get the loafers in only the black one without the fur like the slip-ons or the loafers or then with the heel and well then I tried on in I think it was Berlin that I tried these on and yeah I didn't like the look of the ones with the heel that much so then I decided that I want the loafers and then well yeah I really like the fur even though many people will say that the fur will go out of style and everything like that and it's not that long lasting but yeah I don't really know if I agree because I feel like the fur makes it a, li a little bit different even though the fur is you see the fur a lot but still I prefer the look on feet with the fur than without the fur and yeah I feel like I would wear these more with the fur even though I can't you can't really wear them when it's raining or anything like that but I don't think you would wear loafers when it's raining anyway so yeah but with no further ado let's get started so it came in a box but I opened the box already and then it came in this dust bag and so uh, with Vestir you need to know what you're buying because there are other people selling you things and even though they do authenticate the items before you get them but I don't 100% trust the authentication because I know so many people that have gotten fake stuff from Vestir so yeah you really know, need to know what you're buying but the first thing that I was thinking when I saw these these Gucci loafers because the price was very cheap it was I paid I paid 210 euros I think for these and the retail price for these are is I think around 700 euros with the fur and yeah it was really cheap but the condition wasn't that great or the pictures looked okay but you could see that they've been worn a lot and also one thing that I noticed that it has this old Gucci box the brown one and yeah that was one thing that I was like meh are these real because because most of the loafers come in the black and white box but then when I looked at the pictures and everything like that I decided that I still want to get these so yeah this is the old Gucci box and then it has the brown dust bag and then these are the loafers so I think these were rated as in good condition and yeah, these you can definitely see from the bottom that that these have been worn quite a lot. But I, I didn't really mind that because I know I will get so much wear out of these. So I don't have to worry that much because they're already worn. And yeah, I didn't really want to pay 700 and something euros for these because I'm not 100% sure if they go with everything. So yeah, it was safe to pay... 210 euros it's pretty much nothing for these so yeah and the fur is actually in really good condition there are some parts that you can kind of see the leather like the fur has come off but yeah in general these the fur is really in really good condition it doesn't have any dust or any signs of like dirt in it and and the leather also it is in very good condition it does have some it does have some parts here that you can see that it's been worn but the like the crease here when you bend your feet it's yeah there is pretty much nothing so that was a very good sign in my opinion that it hasn't been worn that badly but yeah, 
definitely when you look at the leather uh, leather and the markings on the shoe, I think this is real. Yeah. And all the things that you order from Rustier, they come with a tag. And here, and here you can see the tag and it says that it's inspected by Stephanie, date 1st of August, good condition, matches item description, yes, and origin has been verified. So the most, the, the thing that Vestier does is they look at the shoe and it looks at the pictures that the person selling has and they see if it's a match pretty much and the condition matches but I'm not really sure if they actually contact Gucci or look at the serial numbers and stuff like that so yeah that's why I don't really know if it yeah if, why they put the origin has been or maybe their origin has been checked means that it comes from a real person or something I don't know but yeah then it has a barcode and yeah just we only sell sell items that we love but yeah I really like these and also the metal parts here there are some some markings that the color has faded or not faded but yeah there are some signs of use but yeah I don't really mind because these will if you wear these a lot these will look like this so yeah but I'm pretty happy of the quality that I got for the price that I paid because 210 euros isn't much at all but then I want to tell you a bit about the ordering process of Vestir because let me check so I will show you on the side what happened in the order but so I ordered these 15th of July so 15th of July I ordered these and then I got in contact with um, Vestier and asked if how long does it take for the person to send them or is there anything like is there a time that they need to send it and I was surprised it's a month so if you sell something you have a month or 30 days until you have to send the item so that's a long time because if somebody orders something you are obviously waiting to get the item and if the person sends it after 30 days you ordered it that's a pretty long time so yeah then I was like okay well we'll see so then the person selling it send it to Vestier 31st of July so that's um, yeah that's a long time and also they do send like notifications to the person selling that you're like send the shoe and it was like two reminders were sent to the person until she or he sent it so yeah that's a pretty long time but I waited for them and then the Vestier got them 1st of August and then they were checked and then shipped 1st of August as well so that's a pretty quick checkup because it's checked and then sent on the same day and then when did I get these wait today is 9th of August and I think I got these on Wednesday so 7th so then it took less than a week to arrive to my place but yeah overall a good experience on Vestir but yeah the shipping might take a long so you might want to consider when you're ordering from there that you have to wait for a while maybe or it depends on the sender but if I would sell something on Vestir I would make sure that the person waiting for the item would get it as fast as possible and yeah also one thing that Vestir doesn't have I've sold things on StockX and I know the process there and there it's very you have two days to send the product or then you'll get a penalty fee and yeah that's a really short time so you really need to be home when you're selling things 
and be able to go to the post office and send the item and then if if the item is fake or they found out it's fake you get a I think it's 80% of the price that you purchased or maybe it's not that much I'm not really 100% sure but still you get a pen penalty for selling fake things so yeah in West Year I checked they don't have any penalty penalties I don't even know what happens if if you sell a fake thing or you receive a fake thing I know you can't really return these you can just sell them on the same price without any fees to Vestir because I think when you sell on Vestir there is a high percentage of the price that you pay for Vestir so yeah it's a bit different than StockX but they have a more like luxury things but yeah you need to be sure of what you're buying and check the item when you get it but yeah, overall experience was good and I'm really happy with these shoes and I can't wait to wear them even though I know I looked at the weather today and it's supposed to be raining like for a week at least. So I'm not going to be wearing these that much but hopefully it will be sunny still before like autumn really hits and it starts snowing and everything. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell about the sizing. So I'm usually a size 37. In most shoes or US 5 and for these I wanted to try these on before I purchased them in a Gucci store so I tried on the 37 at first and these are if you have like if you don't have narrow feet these might be too small so you do want to size up because well my actual shoe size could be like 36 and a half but these do fit perfectly and the fur also makes it a bit narrow or the shoe more narrow so yeah you might want to try these on before you purchase these online or just go to a Gucci store and try these on because yeah these are pretty small because you sh I have some shoes that are 36 and when I tried on a 36 for these I couldn't even get my shoe like in the shoe and also because this is leather so it will it will give in in time but yeah still I would say size up one or half a size at least if you want to order these without trying. Thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe I'll see you next time bye!